Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Rogue State Revolution. So this game actually looks really interesting. Uh, it's probably a week out from release now that we're having a look at it. Um, so, you know, thanks to the devs for the pre-release build. Um, it's a, it, it's got tags on it like 4X. It's definitely like a colony society build them up sort of manager. Um, you seem to be taking on a democratic position as well. So I don't, I don't know how ham-fisted it is with its political leanings and all that, but you're in office. Um, in the marketing materials, it was put, it's like pushing a sort of Groundhog Day sort of thing, but I don't know how much of that is true and how much of that is actually just gimmick, um, like for the trailer, but it was very much a try again, try again, try again. And I was like, well, okay, if you're a 4X, it seems a bit strange. So maybe it's a 4X with a very short loop time because most 4Xs you play for like 40 hours or something per, per round run, right? Um, so I don't know. But uh, it also seems like you fill your cabinet up with ministers and all this sort of thing. Um, and an example I saw in the trailer is that they were trying to deal with like some native wildlife and one of the options was like, all right, well, we're going to unleash some tigers to kill them. That's how we deal with the problem. So it, it potentially has like a zany sense of humor that's a bit off the wall as well. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty pumped to give it a bloody red hot go. Let's see. How are you feeling today, Excellency? Teach me how to play. I see the connections. Charlie Day mode right here. Explain cryptocurrency to me. <laughs> You're a min-maxing statistical tyrannosaur. You know the game's mechanics well and you want to show off your genius. But <laughs> All right, it's, this has got me already. This has tickled me immediately. Um, maybe you're new to roguelikes. It's a, so it's a roguelike. Rogue state revolution. Okay. Oh, what is this? It's like a roguelike city manager. I'm trying. I'm trying not to lose my mind because this I want. Um, there's a lot to running a country, and you would like assistance figuring out where you went wrong the last time, so you can dust yourself off. It's not easy mode, we promise. Though that's an option too. Teach me how to play. FMV cutscenes. Yes. Wait. FMV full motion. Yes. Gentle start. I don't. Okay. Uh. Yeah. A normal difficulty, one hundred percent. Oh my goodness! Oh my. Okay, game. Don't do this to me, Dajani. That's a pretty good surname. Like I'm not allowed to change my surname. Oh yeah, I am. It's just not highlighting. Um, it's gonna be. Well, how could it not be like Gronk, right? That's Mister Mister Gronk, President Gronk, First Minister Gronk. Well, all of these sound really good to me. I said start. Let's go. 2017 to 2018, the coup d'etat staged by Farouk al Falda, Minister of Defense, and brother to glorious leader Tariq al Falda, fails, bringing an end to the. Uh, Bassin. Ba uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's not important. Um, Scarlet Fonny's new 200 part series, D Danger. Danger. Yes. Well, that ended badly. Also, let me know how uh, volume is, chat. Um, that ended badly. Somebody must have poisoned my tea. I bet it was that janitor. I see how he looks at me. Oh, janitor. Inauguration day. Again. This is, this is like Groundhog Day. Yes. This time I must do better. Oh, click on the television. In Basenji today. Yes! FMV, let's go! Thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Yes! Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. Well, very good, very good. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned representing a wide political spectrum. Very good. With the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Wow. Come in. Come in, miss. This, oh my God, what? yes. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. 
good. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. Yes. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed. You will be stuck with these ministers, oh. better or worse. Yeah. I would advise you listen to their needs. And yes. I say look for loyalty. Yes. There will be hard days ahead. Yes, Yusuf. We will need a cabinet that is on our side, no matter what. Yusuf gets it. I mean, she's got good points as well. Excellency. Oh, look, they get little pictures. The government responsible for building Basanji's glorious future. Yes, for Basanji's glorious future. Let's go. Let's get this cabinet going, team. Potential ministers. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at all these boys. And and boyettes. All right, all right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, hey. We've got a bunch for resources. Finance. One, two, three. One, two, three. For defense. Development one. Two. Okay, well, it's all pretty pretty good. We got a lot. All right, hang on, hang on. So, what about this bloke? Aziz El Kamali. Interesting man. Oh, he's frugal. He's cunning. All right, so you're telling me the, the good things and you're telling me the bad thing. Pious, inspiring, poor health, liberal, religious, conservative, secular. Oh, wow, we got all sorts of people. Well, hang on, hang on. We need to try and we need to try and sort of balance this out a little bit. Conservative, secular, conservative, religious. Right, let's put him in. Tariq. He's a maverick. Let's give Tariq that job. Conservative religious. And we'll go conservative secular. What do we got here? I like this dude's head. So, you can be the Minister of Development. Now, I want liberal religious and liberal... Wait, it's all just liberal religious? I thought there'd be another type of liberal. All right, we'll get this this bloke. You can be the Minister of Defense, mate. And liberal religious. Here you go, you. Madiha Nazar. You can you can be... There we go. So, we've, we've got a pretty balanced potential ministers. Not all ministers are appropriate for all ministries. Yeah, well, we'll figure that out. Very good. Know that every 12 months, you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry. Okay. Choose to do so. More ministers mean more opportunities to do great things. And every 12 months, you may appoint a new cabinet to minister to an uns for an unstaffed ministry. Right. Excellency. While you get settled in your new office, How is this I have a rogue like? your agenda for the next few weeks. <laughs> Are you interested in hearing it? Uh, yeah, I've scheduled your agenda. Yes. Tell me. Tell me more, please. Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost News a feed. action point. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Oh. Look at this as political capital to get things done. Action points is ministers. That's cool. Tell me I've more. I've learned that our national power plant has not received a fuel shipment in weeks. That's not good, man. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. R right, right. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant, and electricity can be restored to Essenji. Build the roads by quick dragging the line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. Right. So I can just, just drag like that? Is that what you're saying? I'll take action, build roads. Building roads costs one action point per month and treasury funds. Note that it is possible to both upgrade and build those roads. Right. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select upgrade in the road menu. Alright. Uh, upgrade? Manipulating the camera should be straightforward. Yep. In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to plan the map. Thank you. And hold the middle mouse button. Yep, zooming the in and out. Is used to zoom Let's go. Also rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons. Or by pressing Q. Yep, yep. Finally, these buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants, and buildings that allow units to be recruited. That sort of thing. 
Okay. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. Oh, that's nice of them. Good. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. That's the right attitude. Agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. Yes. Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. Yes. From the right sidebar, click construction. From there, choose the agricultural field. Yes. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them. Okay, cool. Are these our roads? I love how dinky the roads are because of this, obviously, the grid system. Construction. Holy dooly. Agricultural fields. Let's go. Constructing grasslands. Done. Oh, look at the boys doing it. I should remind you, Excellency, that we'll need a road connection between these fields and our city. I am pretty excellent. We can build a dirt road connecting them to our track for now. We need a road connecting between these fields and our cities. We need a dirt road connecting them to our traffic network. Oh. Is that not a road? Is that a river? Oh, you goober, that's a river. Okay. Um... Over time, Basenji cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. Yeah, okay, yes. As food supply increases, you can dismantle a UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months because removing UN aid workers will come with severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. Right, maybe a border? It, it might be a border, actually. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think it might be a region because we've got like Maja, Majamara up there. Yeah, it might actually be a border. Can I look at it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Um, cool. For now though, I think we can weather it. Click on our UN camp and dismantle it. Now. Get this UN out of here. We're a proud people. Go on. Boots. We D could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month. Funds, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Alternatively, we could address the health here we go facing the province of Sabah. Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basanji civil war. Right, Sabah has a health crisis. You can see the red heart. The choice right. is yours. Future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field, or build a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in the province of Sabah. No, no, I want to help Sabah. Let's help Sabah. What, so what are these? Focus on palace, cycle through our refineries, power plants. All right, hang on. So we're in Sabah here. So this is part of Sabah. Yeah, the, yeah, okay, yes. Construction. Hospital. The modern hospital, highly trained professionals, must be built on flat terrain next to a town. Right. Here we go. So we can just plonk it there. Let's put it there. This game is rad. This game is blowing my mind right now. Thank you for putting your faith in me. You may have noticed that buildings consume both workers and power. Yes. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. Yeah, well, yeah, no, exactly. Now, you can't build workers. Spread your buildings out between your provinces so you don't end up with a worker shortage. Okay, tell me more. Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. That's all right. It's all right, Yusuf. In a state of disrepair, and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. This will be where all our military units are produced. Okay. That's probably a good idea. Build a military base. Oh, look, the health's gone up to two, I think. Where should we build our military base? In, um, do we, is, is there a capital province? I mean, maybe we build it out here in Carrick. Car Carriac? In Hymer. Let's build it in Hymer. Military base, a facility for producing units for all branches of our armed forces, only two permitted in the nation. All right, yeah. Oh, it doesn't have to be... Okay, hang on. So maybe we just... Let's just do it here. Let's just plonk it in the center of the bloody world. Right? Easy to deploy? Makes sense to me. 
Excellent. We'll see. We've used up all our action points for this month. So let us reconvene next month. I understand. Military base. Let's click this arrow. I'll tell you what, I haven't had a game that had such a Middle Eastern sort of flavor to it. This is actually really quite well done. Yusef, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. Oh no, what, what's up? An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank. Yes, an unlicensed mech warrior. Let's go. I may have made a big mistake. <laughs> Yes! Uh, because it's awesome? It is awesome, Yusuf. You're 100% right, mate. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I am talking tank and have lost control. Oh my god. Although this is probably also a threat to our national security. It is, it absolutely is. Yes. Yes, let's do that. All units have a role to play in combat, and it is for you to decide which unit to train. Yes. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units. Right. Including whatever that thing is. <laughs> whatever that thing is, yeah. That's a good idea. Let's not build a SAM, SAM site thing. SAM truck. Specialized in eliminating infantry and tanks, but is vulnerable to anti-air vehicle. Well, is this an anti-air vehicle? I can't tell. What about armor? Let's build, let's build a tank. Let's build a tank. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first clicking on the unit. And <laughs> dragging the line to the target. Oh, I have to comment on this because I obviously film this part of my variety show. So I have people in chat and a whole bunch of dudes are like, that's it. That just settles it. I'm getting this game. <laughs> so if the developers ever end up watching this video, no. That the tipping point for most people was random mech warriors started showing up in this game. <laughs> Second armored brigade, let's bloody go, boys. Let's disco. Give it what for, boys? <laughs> we have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the record. Yes. Hopefully his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Well, uh, yeah, exactly. Fingers crossed. I spent so much of my time thinking about how to create a giant homemade <laughs> walking tank out of old cars <laughs> and recovery. I never machines. stopped to think I if I should. To think if I should. <laughs> well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. Click on the Ministry of Finance for now. Let's go! Tariq Badur. Setting our tax policy to be regressive will This might be the best game ever. People's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this move, but maybe we can win back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to regressive now. Regressive. Liberal approval. Dun dun. Look at the picture of the taxes. It's people just shoveling friggin' money into the furnace. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> yes, let's go. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, proceed. Good. Let's check in now with the Ministry of Defense. All right, Ministry of Defense, Over let's time, go. A minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. Oh, a minister, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling, they oh oh, so they sort of the level up. The is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle. We can learn something from it. You reckon? You can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Oh, I, I have to choose it. I thought they were doing it on the room. <laughs> Six Macada. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank if it means that much to you. <laughs> but we'll probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Alright, hang on. So, research. Conscription? Oh, that's tempting straight off the bat. Yes! Long range missiles, chemical weapons. Oh my god, this game's not messing around. Ground based laser? An array of high energy lasers specifically designed to destroy meteors. Are you guys hearing this? This infers that we're gonna have to deal with meteors. <laughs> 
Veteran benefits, forced relocation. Oh, yes, this has everything. Psychological warfare. Manchurian candidates. What? The Manchurian candidates. Brainwash everyday people to become sleeper assassins. Occasionally, citizens spontaneously turn into tier three intelligence officers. <laughs> Advanced centrifuges. Um that clandestine nuclear weapons development all right no hang on unlock the bipedal tank <laughs> i mean it's tempting but no a Temp temporal displacement building on the secret research conducted during the era of the trans transitional government elite basinji scientists theorize we can construct a machine to take a snapshot in time and subsequently use an extraordinary amount of power to send a single human being back to that point the rest of the world's physicists dismiss our theories as junk science, but surely the potential outweighs the costs. Perhaps experimentation with this technology is somehow responsible for your perpetual returns in your first or inauguration day. Yeah, maybe. Or perhaps your condition is what will make this machine possible. <laughs> we can only hypothesize. Human factors intel, infiltrating rebel networks, recon training, CR, CBRN response, probably a good idea. Cyber division. Decrease the likelihood of catastrophic failure of all cyber warfare missions. Oh my god. This is so good. But I don't know what we actually need at the moment. Chemical weapons. Plus one damage against infantry units. Oh my god, that's just rude. Forced relocation. Rate of civilian relocation to provinces with worker shortages is trip. Well, I don't really understand half of these things, you know? I don't know. Let's... Oh, policies. Authorized use of torture. Gray area. What is this game? Um, yeah, stuff it. Let's make the let's make the mech warrior. Good idea. Do you want me to proceed with this Ministers policy? Yes. Research priorities will create their own based on their personal interests. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do I'm not given... Thing. Regardless of what you say. Oh, particularly belligerent ministers will do their own thing. Right, so I don't have to necessarily choose a. Suggest policy opportunities for the remaining three ministers to research now. Right. You're the glorious leader. Of course, you don't have to listen to our advice. Let's move on. Great. Research will be conducted. Faster oh, when the whoops. Has a great deal of respect for you. Unhappy ministers may not do any research at all. I'm happy. Let them research what they want to research. Come to me with with solutions, my ministers. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now. We yeah. Limit our opportunities to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a little extra boost. This this Let's has got to be the best game ever. Budget. Um, let's review our national budget. Okay, review budget. Very good. Oh I've my God! So much stuff. Got some good ideas, please. Shibuya or whatever your name a was. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Basenji's monthly revenue. City growth, immigration, the price of commodities, our transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Right. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. Okay. But look at these ministry expenses. Yes. You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Oh, maybe. Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something to keep a close eye on as well. Okay. It's better to use a few units well than grow a bloated military. Don't you tell me how to run my military. Because we have a military I want a bloated finance, military. We also have the option of taking up loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. Right. The interest repayment terms for these are not kind. So I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in the Okay, so we can have bailouts. The best Good. Thing for us to have nice things we're going to need them. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and to sell them instead. That's a good idea. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump started. Yes. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. That's probably a good idea. Subtotal, total minus three. All right. Provincial budgets. Ministries. So you want me to cut prices around here somehow. All right. 
conservation. Now, what is going on here? Prosperity. Subsidies. Conservatives will be particularly unhappy. Well, I mean, bad luck. What else have we got going on here? Benifa is the home province. Right. Benifa's kind of thriving. Now, what is this one? Safety? Public safety? Mate, we're gonna we're gonna make some cuts. We're gonna make some cuts in Benefi. Um, what about health? We're gonna drop health. And then what's the other one? Tourism, dropping that too. All right, cool. That'll do for the moment. Now what do I do? Do I just press escape out of here? We should create a survey of you to scout for new resources. Resources will eventually make it possible for us to sell more complex products for our cities. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Now, we can export these raw materials to a neighbor if the demand exists. Right. Click on the palace at Mijimura by either finding it on the map or clicking on the palace fast access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, train a surveyor. Right. So we're going to click on Majimara. Oh, look at this. These are the citizenry. Ethnically Basinji, right? Right, okay, hang on. Focus on the palace at Majimara. Train a resource surveyor. Click on the surveyor you've just trained to reveal all the potential resources in Basinji. By exploring these sites, we can potentially uncover new resources for our economy. Yeah. There's a possible resource deposit located on a tile not too far from his current location. Drag him to the nearest tile with a potential resource deposit. Note the black pin. And click survey adjacent tiles from the surveyor interface. All right. Excellency. Very well. Off you go, little surveyor man. Excellency. Sur and survey adjacent tiles. You discovered oil. Look at that. And he's got his Another little hard hat. Deposit. Well, this is helpful. Not all resource deposits pan out. So sending surveyors across will send you to check them all will be necessary. Right. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. I understand. Next month, let's go. This more game morning. slaps. Let's build a new refinery on that oil deposit. Select one from the construction menu. All right, now if I hit escape here, am I going to be able to... Oh, okay. Hopefully I can leave mid-tutorial. There's a lot going on here. This game is more than I could have dreamed. I am loving it so far. As far as making a good impression, it has done so. Um, like I said, it should be a week out before it comes in. I'm curious how the roguelike component's gonna play into it as well. Like, do we just suddenly drop dead at some point and the game's like, ah, oh, this happened. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I wanna know, you know, there's, there's so much more to learn, but already it's made such a fantastic first impression. I'm, I'm in love with this game. Uh, Stem, watch out on the channel. There's a good chance I stream some of this because uh, I'm sort of doing that now, just sort of throwing up sporadic streams to get through some games that I really enjoy. Let me know as well if you want to see more episodes of this on the channel. I'm happy to do more episodes also. Um, and let me know if you're also interested in this insane, uh, you know, mech warrior colony 4X roguelike rebuilding meteor shooting game, <laughs> Groundhog Day game, because I'm definitely curious as well. Alright team, thanks again for joining me, I might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.